Did you know? Disney Movie Facts Billy Crystal may be immortalised in Monsters Inc. as Mike Wazowski. And who would we be scaring today? Wazowski, you didn't file your paperwork last night. Oh, that darn paperwork. But prior to that, he turned down the role of Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story. To infinity and beyond! A role that eventually went to Tim Allen. After watching the finished movie, he described his decision as one of his biggest regrets. But has said, Mike is his favourite movie role ever. Remember Bruce, the vegetarian great white shark from the 2003 Pixar movie Finding Nemo, who welcomed all marine life into his vegetarian community sharing the motion that fish are friends, not food. Well, did you know he was named after the mechanical shark that was used in Steven Spielberg's 1975 movie Jaws? The name Bruce was the nickname given to the models used for the shark in the original movie, which, in turn, was named after Steven Spielberg's lawyer, Bruce M. Raymer. Another reference to the movie Jaws is shown in the scene where Dory and Marlin are stuck in the torpedo tube and they release the torpedo which gets stuck in Bruce's mouth, allowing them to escape. Just like how the Great White Shark was destroyed in the original movie. Smile, you son of a <laughs> Those Disney animators are tricksy folk and love to hide classic characters in the background of the newer movies. For example, in the opening scene of The Little Mermaid, the eagle eye may spot Goofy Mickey Donald Duck. His Royal Highness King Triton! as well as Kermit the Frog in the audience at King Triton's concert at the beginning of the movie. Wayne Allwine, who was the voice of Mickey Mouse for 32 years, got hitched to Rusty Taylor, who was the voice of Minnie Mouse for 33 years. The couple got married in 1991 and remained happily married until his death in 2009. We all know the biggest buyer of explosives in the world is the US Department of Defense. Now, coming to the second largest purchaser, any guesses who number two is? It's Walt Disney World. Yes, the happiest place on earth is the second largest buyer of explosives. The land of Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and all your favorite princesses rank right after the US government. They spend a whopping 50 million plus every year just on explosives. Now, before you freak out and think Disney is just another US conspiracy to dominate the world, let me clear things out. These explosives are bought for a whole different reason, which has nothing to do with fighting insurgents or booby trapping. Rather, they are used to bring excitement and flair to the park. These explosives are used for Disney World's fireworks shows, parades and parties that take place around the park. Apart from their parades, there is nothing as good as a good Disney fireworks show that happens every night all through the year. Originally, animators Ollie Johnston and Frank Thomas designed Pinocchio to look like an actual wooden puppet. But Walt hated the design, thinking no one will be able to sympathise with a lead character that was literally made of wood. So he halted production and made them change him. With the new design approved, Disney stepped in to stop production once again. This time, he felt Pinocchio was too easily tricked by the film's evil characters. So he and his team created Jiminy Cricket to act as Pinocchio's conscience and made the story about Pinocchio learning to do the right thing. There are no stings on me! <laughs> Hidden sex reference in The Lion King? Ooh, scandalous! Time out! Let me get this straight. People have often claimed to have spotted hidden messages in Disney movies. 
One of the better known ones that has been paused on many occasions by eagle-eyed viewers is when Simba flops down on the edge of a rock face, sending a cloud of dust flying into the night air and appearing to spell the word sex in the sky. One of the film's animators, Tom Sito, has since confirmed that yes, there was a word put in that scene deliberately, spelled out in the dust, but it's not as filthy as people thought. Sito insisted the letters actually spell SFX and is an in-joke for the movie's art and special effects department. You can be a big pig too! Walt Disney's final words, written rather than spoken, were Kurt Russell. Walt wrote the actor's name down on a piece of paper before passing away of lung cancer in 1966. At the time, Kurt Russell was a child actor who had just signed a 10-year contract with Disney. No one, including the actor himself, have any idea why. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. Mickey Mouse was the first animated character to talk on the silver screen. His first words was in the 1929 short cartoon The Carnival Kid, and it was Hot Dog. Hot Dog! Hot Dog! Making his first feature-length animated movie was a huge undertaking, and Walt knew Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was going to be a tough sell. So, in order to convince his team it was even possible, he gathered everyone around and performed some one-man theatre. Walt acted out the entire movie by himself, from beginning to end. He fully performed each character, mimicking their physical stature and characteristics, and even giving each one a unique voice. True to form, Walt captured everyone's imagination and convinced them that the whole thing could work. After lots of successes with animated shorts, Walt decided to make his first feature-length cartoon. Everybody thought it was a terrible idea, Walt said. It was prophesied that nobody would sit through a cartoon an hour and a half long, but we decided to go for broke. Production issues delayed the release dates and ballooning costs fueled the fire. But on December the 21st, 1937, Walt finally released Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs to huge success. We realized we were in a new business. We had been heavily in debt and within six months, we had a million in the bank. In 1939, Walt discovered miniatures, very small renderings depicting real-life things. And he immediately fell in love, claiming, when I work with these small objects, the cares of the studio fade away. Among his collection included tiny alcohol bottles, cigarette cases and tools. Walt never stopped thinking how he could turn his private interests into entertainment. He came up with the idea to display tons of miniatures, including elaborate ones he had built himself in a travelling roadshow. He later reworked many of his ideas for a miniature roadshow into Disneyland. <laughs> 